like we know in powerlifting and strength training, range of motion is one thing, but tension and strength through range of motion is quite another. So what we can kind of think about doing here is blending deep ranges of motion with isometric tension. So what Tracy is going to demonstrate is the Iron Lizard, and it may not look like much on first blush, but it is something. So Tracy's gonna get into a deep lunge. Her back leg can be resting on the ground, knee down, or can be propped up and straight. Obviously that's gonna be a little bit more of a stretch on that back hip flexor. But specifically what we're targeting is the front hip or that bent hip with that front bent knee. So from this lunge position, what Tracy's gonna do is she's gonna start generating external rotation tension by driving her knee out, but her arm is going to be hugging in. So she's literally fighting against herself. And she's thinking about doing those simultaneously, but also one at a time. So she's thinking, push the knee, hug the arm. Push the knee harder, hug the arm harder. So what we're doing here is we're stacking tension and we're ramping up that strike. We don't just go 100% right off the bat. We go 10%, 20, 30, 40, leaving no stone unturned because by the time she gets to a subjective 50% effort, she's working really hard and relax. Now, just by looking at her, you, you don't necessarily know that that's what's going on. But internally, that is what's going on. So that's the push out or the Audi, now we're gonna do the Innie. You guys know like the Innie and Audi machine? This is like your do-it-yourself version. So now she's gonna block the inside of the knee with her arm or with her elbow, and we're gonna do the same thing. Her knee is going to squeeze in against her arm. Her arm pushes out against her knee. Notice nothing is really moving, maybe a little bit, but not much. Again, the knee squeezes in, the arm pushes out. We're dialing up the tension one notch at a time. So we'll squeeze in harder, push out harder. Squeeze in harder, push out harder. Again, we're ramping that up maybe four or five times until you're at something around a 60 to 80% perceived effort. And you would hold for between 15 to maybe 30 seconds. That is the Iron Lizard. Tracy, am I missing anything on that one? No. Well, that's fun. It's so open. let's give it a shot. It, it is. Um, Good. And he knows this. I've this, that, this drill is my favorite drill, um, mobility warm-up. I do it every day before training. I think it's had the mess, most benefit as far as hitting areas that I wouldn't hit with others. And, and I used to with squat, I would get like this achiness kind of in the sides. And once we added that, I can't say it because of this drill, but I never have had the issue again. So I kept it. Yeah. It's a good one. So again, in the spirit of experimenting with things in your training, if you have some sort of mobility issue, nagging aches and pains, and you do something, and it seems to clear it up. Stay with it. Keep if it looks weird and it doesn't, move on. I rotate through some line and some stick, some don't. This is a, has been a keeper for me. Absolutely, absolutely. Cool, so any questions on Iron Lizard? Cool, so now you know what the iron part is all about, okay?